happened at 1.30 this morning was executed by a group of about 150 militants. It's reported that they wanted to loot the armory before they were repulsed. More than 100 attackers believed to be from the Somalia-based Al-Shabaab militia descended on Div police station targeting to kill police officers manning the station. The militia are then said to have entered the station making away with an unknown number of firearms from the armory. Police sources... This video from ITV shows the handiwork of Somalia best Al Shabaab militants who attacked a Kenyan Defense Forces base in Somalia at about 5 a.m. Of course, serving in Somali comes with its own uh, bag of challenges. There was this one time when uh, one of our military bases was attacked in a place called Baure. And what happened is that one of the fighters, or rather the second in command, was a British jihadist called Evans Thomas and was killed by the KDF troops in there. So he was the one filming every activity that was happening there. What was of interest to me was the fact that uh, uh, among the IEDs that they filmed themselves making was uh, a rocket mortar. And I realized that the rocket mortar that we saw inside this film was actually one from our side. So this tells you that PSM is for real. We either store manage and control our own items of ammunition or arms and if we don't then they'll end up in the hands of the terrorists which can be used against us. It's been a long journey, I should say, uh, beginning 2012-2013 and we just came in as participants of uh, PSSM and then thereafter we were, we were selected into the train of trainers uh, courses and they've been ongoing from then up to where we are now. We are now subject matter experts in as far as uh, PSSM is concerned. Remember even as I joined in here is that um, I was already an ammunition technical officer in the Kenyan Defence Forces. However, what PSM did is that it brought in uh, an international perspective in terms of arms and ammunition control and management. For this particular training, we bring in participants from six East African countries, namely Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania and South Sudan. Uh, IPSTC is a peace support training center that trains participants from all over the world on peace support related and security related courses. This training of trainers program will be handed over to REXA by the year 2019. So when uh, MSAG pulls out, these uh, trainers who have been trained are the ones who will take over and take PSSM to the next level. IPSTC is the whole institution. Under IPSTC we have two schools. One is PCSS which is here and the other one is HPSS which is there. Participants receive theoretical classes here and uh, practical classes at HPSS. Yeah, so we booked in there. This is just normally to, to be able to monitor who visits and who doesn't. Yeah, it's good. This is the external security perimeter. Correct. Correct. Good morning. Good to see you. Thanks very much for the visit. Yeah, yeah, what we're trying to do is develop a core engine that drives responsible weapons and ammunition management in a conflict-affected region. You can see that the grass is cut. 
you can see, and yes. You have three fire extinguishers outside. Correct. Over here, there's an external perimeter. It's Correct. A fence around this facility as well. Correct. The three locks on the door. There's lighting, security lighting on the top. Correct. There's a fused area for the electrical appliances outside. And control, correct. As you can see from outside, we, we know the, the external security part of it is that there's, there's a sentry and every, every few minutes somebody goes around it. With your permission, is it okay if we enter? The train the trainer approach is trying to develop a core body of African PSSM instructors and reduce the dependence on external actors. When people listen to someone like Justin Pamba, they see someone who is a role model for themselves as opposed to an external actor parachuting in and out and telling them how to follow international standards. They would dress it up and say, hey, this belonged here. Because normally, even By tailoring international standards to local realities, we want to reduce their dependence on external actors and show that this isn't a one-off intervention, but a longer-term sustainable process to create people like Justin Bamba who can take this training back to their own countries, back to their own militaries, as well as teach other countries and other regions more responsible cultures of weapons and ammunition management, particularly in conflict-affected states. PSSM isn't rocket science. It's creating simple measures that have a high impact in limited resource environments. So should we get a lot number that is CY68, for instance? We'll store it, we'll co-store it here, but on a different stuff, just to put it apart. Ammunition is a chemical compound that deteriorates over time, and there are several factors that can influence the deterioration process. Yes. So storing them properly, stacking them to a certain height, and arranging for a flow of air through these stacks is important to prevent them from deteriorating. Correct. And therefore, we have been just able to go through countries, Uganda, Tanzania, Nigeria, you know, Rwanda, taking up this PSSM message. And therefore, really, there's a great change from the, the moment I joined in in 2012, 2013, up to where I am now today. Yeah. And are you able to convert the same into the field? So they're all linked up. So even as you do this thing, have a broader mind, just think out of the box, and I think it's going to be fun, all right? So go easy, do what you've been taught, do what you know best, all is work. Back here, I yeah. work with Justin very Great. often. Yes. Uh, we're back here for the last three years running courses in these classrooms on PSSM, so weapons and ammunition management. So I'd really like to thank you first for your participation and I wish you all the best for this course. <laughs> Because all through the course, we're going to be using a lot of the explosives in different scenarios, in different capacities. So here is a task that has been given to them and it's going to be carried out and therefore we are just going to be able to see what it has in so command. Stand by! Firing! Stand, no, stand by, you shall stand by. When you're ready, quiet! Stand by! Burning! Then you... Some. We hear the voice, okay? So it needs to go around. Yeah, Quiet! Stand by! Fire! Hi, this is Nick Hill. Yeah, we have a meeting to discuss the Nigeria PSSM training. So we're heading into Rexa now. High levels of weapons and ammunition proliferation do not respect international borders. Regional cooperation and sharing knowledge between states and across borders is critical to effective arms control. BIC, together with the support of the German Foreign Office, chose to partner with REXA to spearhead this process. Over the last four years, we've been working to develop a body of PSSM instructors that are meant to serve as the core engine to drive a more responsible culture of weapons and ammunition management on the continent. 
Thank you. When you talk about physical security and stock power management, that is to say all arms have to be kept safely and managed and controlled effectively. This is the reason why physical security and stock power management is a core business for REXA. Our mandate is to help our member states to come up with managing and control properly the stocks. We have to deal with the management of arm from the import up to the destruction. My name is Godfrey Bagonza. I work for the Regional Center on Small Arms REXA. REXA is the sole institution on the African continent whose mandate is on controlling arms proliferation. The regional approach is good in arms control because arms proliferation knows no political borders or geographical borders. Therefore, tackling the small arms menace within the region requires a regional approach. The advantage is that there is you share experiences and you can share information to track these firearms. Uh, with collaboration with MSAG and BICC, we have trained regional instructors whom we are even exporting to other countries beyond REXA. An example is Nigeria. Our regional instructors have conducted PSSM trainings in Nigeria on the request of the Nigerian government. So maybe we can go through the agenda. Okay. okay that would be yeah. a good point to bring in the practical exercise yeah. so they can test the theory that they've learned in the morning. Exactly. And we do the practical exercise in the armory yes. at noon. Uh, we, where we have Captain Justin, um, who is the actor of the Justin team leader. Yeah, yeah, Justin Pamba. So you'll be there with uh, Lieutenant Mari and uh, Captain Steven. Banyaga. Yeah, yeah, Banyaga from Rwanda, Lieutenant Mari from Uganda, and uh, Justin being the yeah. uh, I mean, from Kenyan defense. That sounds like a good team. Uh, and they all have training in both ammunition and weapons management. So that as a team, I think they would work really well together. Yeah, seven, yeah two, six, two, six. Exactly, seven, six. Perfect, one. that's the one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's ringing now. <laughs> Hello, Dixon. How are you? This is Eric calling from Rexa. Oh, we are doing well. I'm with Nikhil from BICC. Oh, we want to check on... Uh, uh, PSSM training that uh, uh, you're planning to have in September in Calabar. We're doing this. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to Nigeria to meet my team, uh, Stephen and Silva. They'll be there. So we're going to do this a second time. The first time I was there in uh, Paduna State, and uh, looks like they've appreciated. You no, know, the moment they invite us, somebody invites you again, means they they really like what you did the first time, and therefore this is just the East meeting the West in terms of sharing expertise, and therefore I'm really excited to be going back there again. Okay, here we continue. Yes. So all of this afternoon we've been looking at man parts, their origins, what they are, how a typical man part looks like, the threats. I think the training has been going on very well. We are, we are very pleased because we're able to, as usual, assemble um, people from diverse backgrounds, um, from all security agencies in Nigeria, ranging from the Army to the Navy to the DSLs so that they could also share experiences uh, while the training is going on. 
Um, now, we are very happy that we have our Eastern East African brothers here with us. It will also um, challenge our own people to, to build their own capacities. And then who knows, someday they will also go out there and help other African countries in facilitating this kind of training. So we're happy with that. The overall PSSM um, training programs that we've been having with both uh, with the BICC is very important to us because um, it has availed us the opportunity to enhance the capacity of our uh, officers and men um, to understand clearly that we need to safeguard our weapons. This weapon was well deactivated in a, in a country that was really, really poor and we... The main goal is, of course, the security of the population. And PSSM is one part in the big puzzle to improve the security of the population. When we start 2011 with the course, there's only European instructors, but it's somebody from outside. If we can train trainers from the country, so it's somebody who have not only the knowledge, they have the feeling about the country, about the services, and they bring also this experience from this country. Not only the knowledge, but I have also a lot of knowledge. But we have also experiences from missions. There were like Justin, for example, in Somalia, in mission. And he come up with a team that will now be retrained into further trainings in the future throughout all these classes. But again, I believe this is a more realistic approach because there can be no by-the-book approach, right? There is no gospel for how to store arms and ammunition. So we need, uh, you know, really local solutions for, for these problems. And people like Justin, who live every day uh, the, the military life in Kenya, are much better placed to do that than a soldier from Germany. It's a special pleasure for me as the representative of BICC and also speaking on behalf of the German government to officially close this six-day training course. Followed by Senior Sergeant this Horn. Senior Sergeant Emanuel. Okay. So even as we share our experiences, we have learned so much from you that we are also going to take back. No, my, my, my father used to say you, 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 you either go by his rules, so you're either in, you're either out, or he runs you over. So, grew up like that and somehow we made it, we're here, no problem. So that we don't uh, lose any ammunition and this dangerous uh, stuff that we call in the wrong hands. So avoid uh, this. These explosive ammunition are very dangerous. We know that they are very hazardous and serious, uh, very dangerous. That's why we are taking every precaution while dealing with it. Issuance, uh, even the issuance is done uh, very carefully. <coughs> we put uh, every kind of ammunition uh, separately. When we put them together, they do not exceed two meters. High. As you can see, they were for, uh, to allow for air circulation and for easy issuing.
It is small arms. The and, uh, what we taught is quite okay. So the primer here, these are the primary, the, the, these are the propeller charges. These are meant to propel this ammunition to the target. It penetrates the, uh, the target and then it explodes. One by five caliber of uh, ammunition. The whole point of this course is on physical security and stockpile management. Your practical exercise will be tomorrow. So today, these two lessons are what you will need to keep in your mind tomorrow when you're inside the armory. <laughs> Having received this training, you now have a responsibility to prevent arms under lawful authority from being diverted. You also have a responsibility to reduce the risk of unplanned explosions. There is a lot to be done in the PSSM. We have 16 LEXA instructors who can train in the LEXA region. We have already exported them to other regions. It is important to train more instructors across the African continent. What I can say is we cannot achieve this in a single day. It really is going to take time but uh, at to the end of the day, I believe we shall reach an end.